Hello, welcome to this channel. Today, my husband Ray, myself, my name is your Mary Dickinson, wanted to come on and we wanted to share this video because we noticed that there is a need of understanding, the understanding that we have received, um, not just we, but many other people, that what it means when Jesus says to look up, because we see a lot of things happening in the world. There is a rumor of war, there are many natural disasters happening and there's turmoil everywhere. So the cry of the soul is, how long will we have to endure this? And is Jesus coming soon? And so in the Bible, as you probably already know, in the book of Luke um, 21, verse 28, Jesus says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. So what does it mean to look up? Are we just supposed to look up and see the sky? Or what does he really what is he really pointing to with that? I think many people think that Jesus was speaking just rhetorically, or they take it as just poetic language, look up when, when you see him coming in the clouds. But there's actually a specific meaning what he means with that, that what really, you know, everything Jesus said was for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to think about his words and what he really means with those things. And so I think it's clear that he wants us to do more than just to look up to the clouds. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is it that we would look up to? So in Genesis 1, um, verse 14 the Bible says and God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years and let there be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also and this is a very important statement that gives us a clue about what jesus meant he says that let them be for signs mm -hmm. and so god has put heavenly signs that he wants us to look up to and this is something that many have come to recognize Mm -hmm. Not all Christianity, because otherwise we will hear a lot more from different churches. But, but you know, it, it was a very popular theme uh, several years ago, back in 2017. It was widespread throughout the Christian church, especially Protestantism. There was a heavenly sign. And it comes from Revelation chapter 12 in the first verse. And uh, in that sign, do you have it there? Yes, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Yes, the sign that Jesus wants us to see or wanted us to see because this was back in 2017 and many people saw it and that was God's will. Um, but that was at night. Okay, and so in the night time, you see the stars and the stars are also for signs like it says in Genesis 1 14 and in the stars there are certain constellations and the planets there's the ecliptic there uh, a line for the ecliptic and along the ecliptic the planets uh, they move along that line through the sky and then there are the constellations and in 2017, it was about the constellation of Virgo with the crown of 12 stars in Leo. And if we drew a picture, it would look something kind of like that. Why does it have 12 stars? Uh, the 12 stars are because uh, Leo normally has nine stars. You can see them there. There are three in the tail and then there's the sickle part that has another six stars, but there are three planets in the constellation of Leo. At a specific time. Yes, at that very specific time, 
that matches the description in the Revelation, where the sun was at uh, the was clothing the woman, and the moon was there at her feet, and then there's the crown above her head. So these are these are symbols. So it's not meant to be exactly uh, like we would imagine a person has the crown on their head directly, but in heaven they're symbols. And so we see above her head is twelve stars and you count the three additional stars to the nine uh, fixed stars in leo and this was in september 23 2017 yes when many people were looking up and even ourselves we are eagerly studying prophecy and uh, the book of revelation in particular mm -hmm. because we believe and understand that the prophecies that are shared in the book we can see in the heavens and there are many, many prophecies that we have come to understand in addition to this woman sign. And yes, this, this was actually a, a big eye opener for us. You know, many people were talking about this. And so it got our attention. And we looked at that and we said, hey, it looks like God is really communicating something with this. And he is. And the amazing thing is that lately, uh, many people in YouTube, we follow many people, many faithful people also that are receiving messages from God, dreams. You know, some mm -hmm. people receive dreams, visions, and some people like us, uh, we also receive dreams in, in our midst, but we uh, mostly study the Word of God. We read a, a chapter in, in the book of Revelation, especially, and we prayerfully ask God to show us how he is depicting that in the heavens. And, and lately, it has been very enlightening. Amen. And, uh, you know, Jesus said to search the scriptures. So, uh, because in them, uh, those, are, those are what speak about Jesus. They reveal him. And so we compare what we see in the heavens with what the scriptures say. And, and not at just any date, at any particular, is, is a particular just like, time. Just like this sign of the woman was at mm -hmm. a particular time. And yes. God designed it so that at that particular time, it would uh, reveal itself. And many people expected the rapture at that time. Mm -hmm. And so they got disappointed when there was no rapture. Yes. But we have to continue searching. And it's sad because that many dismissed it as, oh, that, that wasn't after all the truth. But no, it was the truth. But what wasn't accurate was that it was pointing to the rapture at that moment. And one of the things to understand that is very important is that the heavens are like a storybook. Mm -hmm. And this, is, this was just part of the story. It was not the whole story, but it was part of the story. And therefore, we want to share with you that some of the things that we have learned. In this first video, we just wanted to introduce the, um, the idea of the looking up and that when we or what it means what it right, means, what to, it look means to look up jesus said look up for your redemption draweth nigh and, and so that means at the end of time when we live we should look up because it's now that we have stellarium we can go back and forth in time we can see exactly what god is is pointing to and compare what the heavens show according to the time with the with the scriptures with the revelation and we see where he is uh, directing our attention. And there's much to be said about those things. And we want to follow up with uh, other videos. And uh, what I want to say is that it's important to understand something. This is in and I say it in particularly because growing up, you know, I've been a Christian all my life. And in the way that I was raised was very skeptic about uh, looking up at the stars mm -hmm. because Satan has a counterfeit. He has uh, astrology, which, you know, the movement of the stars dictating your life and all that. And, and that is not from God. Right. But then we also have something called uh, biblical astronomy, which is looking up at the stars, but with the understanding of the word. How is the sign showing uh, the fulfillment of what god said in his word right and it's not it's not just an independent sign and oh we look at the the stars and because the the because jupiter is in virgo then that means such and such and such no mm -hmm. we have to see how the symbols 
fit with what the Bible says. Yes, and we want to share with you the specific signs that the Lord has shown that are very relevant for this time. And it's, uh, I think there is a need because I read uh, through the comments of many people in YouTube, many of the channels that we follow, that many people are excitingly saying, uh, let's look up. Mm -hmm. Our redemption is, is near and it's, it's exciting and and we want to share with you what we have learned from God I mean if we do not share it then it's like hiding uh, the truth under the bushel and right. we don't want to do that so we encourage you to to stay with us to uh, to, to watch the videos that we will be making to yes. the show and uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, click the like button and highlight the solid bell so that you receive notifications for all of our upcoming videos. Yes. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.